they're normally pretty good uh, with taking care of the ball. They have to get back to that tonight. And the tip is in the air, and we are good to go. Bazilli and Mutz up front. Bazilli and Mutz, a dynamic combo. And Bazilli, the transfer from Wright State, connects on the long ball, and that's the name of the game for the Hokies. Want to be deliberate, they'll kill some clock. Pass inside. Good rebound, put up and in. But you said it, uh, he's experienced, uh, really enjoyed our time speaking with him. Uh, and obviously, uh, he's been a mainstay of this program. And he said, look, most uh, people say that. They don't really mean it. They're just trying to hype guys up. He said he's got some of the best form he's seen. Again, they're going to be looking for his production on both ends of the court of Virginia Tech. But he does a little bit of everything for this team. Tajay Kelly powers underneath. And One of the best in the business. Uh, Coach uh, Radeball had a huge uh, praise uh, for Coach Young. He said, look, that right there, uh, this is the key for them. And a two-point pass. So Harris is happy to accept the role. Mutz launches a three that's off the line, and Harris grabs the rebound. It's unique, Malcolm, that Harris is willing to accept his role. Chavez with a three. And that right there is bad gamble. Uh, you cannot gamble against this Charleston Southern team. You go with gamble, you don't get it. Couture with three. Not a bad answer for the Hokies. Here comes Padula. Got some numbers. Baseline drive is good. And just back to your earlier story on him willing to come off the bench, knowing that He's playing the most minutes. He's their leading scorer. Uh, speaks to what type of young man he is. And certainly the time that they took, uh, as you said, to give back. Uh, really uh, get goosebumps watching that. Excellent job by all of them that are involved. Uh, hurt them in that game, but make no mistake about it. I think he's very pleased with where his team is at right now. Deep three converted with the closeout. Again, top of the keys. You have to be there on the catch. If you're not there on the catch. Other three, and it's good. Couture. Finds Maddox. Tough competition from Johnson, but he nailed it. Silly's been quiet. But not so much that time. Johnson. Deep three. And good job by Tajay Kelly, the man on the spot. Three by Chavez. As you said, that's five. Uh, for the half so far, we still got five minutes, uh, a little over five minutes to go in the first. Collins, the 6'4 freshman, averaging four points. Three is good. Three from as they get deeper into the season. Two marksmen, Chavez and Brian, putting together a nice night. Nice rebound by Mutz. In particular, on the offensive glass. That's the transfer from Delaware. How about the roll in the rim by Dodd? And Mutz engulfs the board. Here come the Hokies. Padula. Oh, that was pretty. Wide open. Perfect summary of what they want to accomplish on the offensive end. But another counter by Brian. Padula. Good pass down the lane for Kidd, the Clemson transfer, with the lane, and an end one. Wright State months the transfer from Delaware. Both schools doing a good job mining the transfer portal, and Tajay Kelly good by been a load for the Hokies' interior defense. Coming off a win over Bethune-Cookman. Three, good. 
Moments ago, the third foul on Couture. Kelly down the lane, She's took a kick to the rim. An old school move by Kelly? Yeah, and when we spoke with Coach uh, uh, Raider Ball, he said, look, this guy needs to be dominant. Kid goes down. Three. Got it. Three going basket. They need to check if there's a lid on that. That's three layups in a row they just missed. And the pull-up is good. And the turnover numbers are minimal for both squads. Punched away. And on cue, a turnover and a bucket by Padula. The perimeter defense by the Hokies. Elbow jumper, Claudel Harris, he hits it. Going out an uncanny knack for developing players. Here comes Mutz with a steal. Numbers, Padula. Hokies with a burst. Harris nails it. The decision to hold. Three, got it. Three point basket. Shout out to Olivia, our Piero operator for those pretty pictures. How about that, Huck? Otto Harris has been hot. Rebound by Duhart. Pass by Brazili. Harris, double team, splits it. Two point. Hope he's led by four at the half. Kelly to the rack and the N1. Two-point basket counts, but Padula crafty again. And Kid the putback. Harris gets it back and hits it. Two-point basket is good. It's like Charleston Southern sticking around. They have a two-point lead. Justin Mutz. Double team works out of it to Lynn Kid. Abdullah spinning. Maddox. Oh, that was nifty. What a move by Darius Maddox. And then they communicated, forced a very difficult contested three. A hook shot by Mutz. And let him continue to go to work. Kelly snaps the scoreless string for the Buccaneers. I like that, Malcolm. The plus 14 points of the paint edge for the Hokies. But Kelly has been... Just to get Kelly moving, they know they want to post him up. See, they'll bring him out to the high post. But they're just yeah. trying to roll him down to the paint. How about that easy pick? It's Claudel Harris. Harris with 15. He's one of four bucks in double figures. Mutz spin move. Beauty. Uh, for Justin Mutz. 12 ties, 10 lead changes. Harris. Oh, he gets the roll. Uh, he's had very few open looks. Uh, he's hit some tough shots off the bounce. Off a double team and the power slam to Lynn Kidd. One minute to play. One Under minute a minute play. remaining in regulation. A take. Hook shot off the line by Duhart. Not what they were looking for. Mutz skips it. What a move. Maddox. Mutz from Kidd. Flustered at the rim. Gets it back. Seventeen for Mutz, one out of two. Switch with Mutz on him now. The three, Chavez, punched out of bounds. He does. Harris beyond the arc. He'll launch. Rebound, Couture. Quiet Hunter Couture at the line for the first time in the game, and he nails it. Second half. Five point Hokies lead. Well, that's the last thing you want to do. Harris to three at the buzzer. No good. And that wraps it up.
valiant effort by both teams. It was gritty. It was gutty. And Virginia Tech wins by five.